Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Lauren. I hope that you're all continuing to stay healthy and safe and well. Today's video is going to be on this little beauty right here, which is the Jacques Mousse Le Grand Bambino. And I'm really sorry if the light keeps going in and out. I have about 10 minutes before the sun sets, so I really need to go quickly. Uh, this handbag is fairly new to me, so it's going to be more of a first impressions, like initial review. And I'm also going to show you what fits inside this handbag, because while it is called the Grand Bambido, so you might think to yourself, it's a fairly large size and it looks decent in its size. Don't let the name fool you with the whole grand size. While this is one of the larger bags that Jack Moose makes because all their bags I feel like are fairly small and nano and mini, this is one of the larger bags, but it is, <laughs> it, when it comes to capacity, it actually doesn't hold a ton. And there aren't a lot of reviews on YouTube with showing really what fits inside, I feel like. So hopefully this will help you if you are considering purchasing this handbag and whether or not this will fit your lifestyle. So let's just get into it. Looking at the handbag itself, it has this front closure here, this flat closure with a fairly, you can hear it, a fairly strong magnetic closure. There is a back slip pocket, which is fairly small. There's this top handle here, as well as a removable and adjustable strap, which I really like because I do like to wear my handbags fairly high up and I feel like um, being able to adjust it is a really nice sort of added touch. I don't know if the smaller size is adjustable, the strap. Actually, I think it still is, but um, that's it. It's fairly basic. There's like the small branding there. And then when you open it up, it's just an empty compartment with a slip pocket here. And up, you can see it's fairly narrow. So I'm gonna take my wallet and I'm gonna slide that in. So you can see the amount of room that you kind of have there. I'm gonna take my clay, I'm gonna slide it in right next to it. And at this point, you can already see that it's beginning to sort of fill up. Um, now, I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna slip it on top like that. And at this point, I actually have no room to sort of fit my keys. So this is where I first noticed on the weekend, like, oh no, what am I gonna do? So if I hold it like this, it almost looks like it fits on top. And then I have some extra room on the side here to slip in my perfume as well as my lip gloss. Now, what happens is when I go to close it, this is what happens. So the flap won't actually go down. Um, so if I take my keys out and then I attempt, I can close it like that. So I can't put my keys in. So like I said earlier, I tend to carry my phone in my pocket. So if you take my phone out and then at this point, I'm gonna put my keys in somewhere. Again, it does not close. I to maneuver my keys and you can see it will almost close but the magnetic closure I feel like would open so easily so while it does stay and maybe because my handbag like I said is fairly new it's a really really tight fit for this handbag to fit all those things so it's just having to play around with the space and then putting things on top you can't really put anything on top even though it looks like there is room to fit things because of how this closes this has to fold in pretty snug and tight okay that seemed like a secure kind of closure all right so i think that will hold it now so again in here right now this is reach capacity i have my wallet my clay my keys my perfume and my lip gloss and that's probably all that i would attempt to fit in now let's go to my nano which <laughs> my balenciaga nano which is quite a bit smaller as i showed you and i will show you everything that fits in so again here's my wallet slides right in here is my clay. I can't really show you like this because it's just black on the inside. You won't be able to see. But here's my clay. Fits right in. My keys fit right in. <laughs> my phone, which is the iPhone 10, fits in as well as my 
lipstick and then we'll put the perfume on the other side and at that point I can zip my handbag up so this nano size Balenciaga actually fits more than the Grand Bambino. And again, for size reference, you can see the difference if I kind of line them up. Now this one, I have to just ignore that part there, but you can see there's about, I would say, almost like a two and a half to three inch difference here. It's almost like where the Jack Moose sign starts. That's where my Balenciaga ends. And again, the height, the Jack Mousse is probably, I would say, about an inch taller. It's the width here. The width on the bottom looks about the same. And this one also narrows as it goes, but it's a little bit wider. But it's because of this closure at the top that you're just able to hold more in there. So I am able to hold more in this tiny little handbag than I am in this one. I have used this handbag twice. Once um, when I went out for dinner with the girls and I was dressed up. And then the second time when I just went to run errands the next day and I didn't want to transfer things out of the handbag. So it works for both dressy and casual occasions. But again, I had to keep my phone in my pocket the whole time just because my keys and my wallet and everything wouldn't fit in. I do really like the look of it. I like that it's structured, but it's fairly narrow and streamlined. So it's not sort of bumping around, getting in the way, like a lot of sort of the larger structure handbags I do also really like this top handle option though I'm a little bit wary because I feel like constantly grabbing it when your hands are oily or perhaps dirty you might see a little bit of wear there um, but I do really like this top handle option because it's just easy to sort of grab it you know when you're at dinner or when it's in the car um, and it makes it easier than grabbing it here where you can get it a little bit dirtier um, it's just it's a nice bag it's a nice handbag but please note when if you are looking at getting it that it while it looks larger you actually can't fit a lot of things in there unless you're willing to play tetris each time if you don't take a lot of things on the day-to-day -day basis then this will work really well for you i think but um if you take more than me which i feel like i'm fairly minimal with the amount of things that i take if you take more than me then this probably won't be the best handbag for you would i recommend this I would say yes under a few conditions. If you carry roughly around the same amount as me or even less, I think that that would be good. And for the color, I don't think I would recommend this as an everyday handbag just because I feel like constantly grabbing it and using it sort of on the daily, you would get some discoloration on the handle. And you know, there's always a possibility of like your dark denim sort of rubbing up against it perhaps the black or the tan or the hot pink or any other color would be really good for a day to day. I'm not planning on using this for a day to day. I'm actually planning on using it more for like, I don't know, like dinners and I guess dressier occasions. Um, but if it's a darker color, I'd, I'd probably um, be less hesitant to use it um, daily. So I hope that this video helped you and showed you sort of what really fits inside this grand bambino because let's be real, this is not a grand size. For Jack Moose, this is a very large bag, but in general, this is just, again, this fits more. So keep that in mind if you are planning on getting it. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.